so welcome back to episode number four so we have in last video we have finished here like we were seeing the vtc the dc characteristics of our inverter which we have designed and i'm hoping you have done all your tasks because today we're gonna go in next step and that is we will verify or we will see what's the noise margin of this inverter but what does noise mean in inverter uh, there is already a detailed video in my interview tutorial series you can see this video but in short so see after we design our inverter then the user usually give here zero or one zero or one means ground or the highest value which is probably in our project it is 1.8 so he or she need to give this particular value but if there is something and for sure there would be something which will introduce the unnecessary or unwanted voltage and current to your input so for example if a user has given zero in the input zero volt which will be zero which is the ideal case but due to or for sure we'll have something for something we got a voltage of three got added so that means we have a point three now the task of our inverter our design and that is it should consider it as a low only so ideally we are expecting a zero but we are getting a 0 0.3 but still if inverter consider it is a zero input so in the output if we get a high output then perfectly we have eliminated the noise and from this curve this is your v out this red one is your v out and this is your v in so probably here we have our 1.8 mark and roughly here we have the middle one 0.9 so if we give a 0.3 we can see for sure if we give 0.3 in the output we are getting the high which is required so that means we have the noise margin noise margin mean that much of flexibility is given to the user to use it and if we can see roughly then we have a noise margin of 0 to 1.9 like if you ideally they will for sure will give a zero but if ideally up to 0.9 of disturbance are added then also our inverter will consider it is a low and same is true for the other part like this part of the section but this is a rough estimation today's task is to know what the exact noise margin of our design which we have designed so let's get back to the x game okay now you need to concentrate here see uh, this blue curve as we already know it is your v in and this red curve is your v out so if i go to the analog concepts of gain and why i am going to gain because we want to eliminate the noise that means we want to work on the range of voltages where there is a gain is zero for example if i work on this range okay this range this whole range of B in up to 0.6 roughly and if I give 0 1 2 3 4 or 0 0.6 I'm giving 0 but due to noise I'm I'm actually giving it 0 0.6 like 0 0.6 volt of noise then also I'm getting the output as 1.8 or roughly there which is desirable that means I'm eliminating a 0 0.6 volt of noise or there is no any gain for example i am giving a sinusoidal here okay i am giving a sinusoidal why sinusoidal probably it is a noise of sinusoidal i have given zero but due to a noise of sinusoidal my zero input come up to here these positions okay and here it is sinusoiding like it is alternating between 0.4 and 0.6 but at the output i am not amplifying their sinusoid i am getting a fixed 1.8 always that means it's a zero gain region and same is true here also for example if i like i want to give the most like maximum possible value 1.8 as my high input but due to some noise it came here and here it is sinusoiding or noise would be unpredicting right it won't be sinusoidal but yeah there would be some unpredicted waves here but at the output here i am getting a zero and i am not amplifying my noise right and as in my theory class i have already said that there must be a range like three partition partition one partition two and partition three and we need to define that and in my theory class i have already defined that and that is the range where the gain is one that is the ultimate range 
if my gain is more than one that means any noise is there i am amplifying it so if there there are stages of circuits then i am amplifying a noise it will get amplified amplified and at the output probably there is no signal left at all so the highest tolerable range where i can uh, give my input and that is when my gain is one or minus one because it's the inverter like i'm inverting so to define this three partition partition one two and three we need to find out the reason where the gain is one and here it will be minus one and then it will increase 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 and again it will decrease and here it will be again minus one and then it will be zero okay and we know for sure how what's the formula of gain and that is your v out by v in or in derivative form it is dv out with respect to dv in and these graphs here see this is our independent value v in blue curve and that is the dependent on the in independent value of v in and as and this phase is very powerful so we have the mathematical uh, functions already predefined for example i need to find the derivative of v out with respect to v in so i'll do what i'll define actually let me plot directly. let me see if it can plot directly so plot to find out your derivative of v out i'll write derive and then v out it will directly take uh, with respect to v in is there right but our v out curve is coming because of a independent value of v in so it will directly take uh, the reference as v in so you just need to write d uh, derive v out and let's see and and see here we are th this is your gain curve actually okay and you can see as i said this region there is a gain zero and then uh, up to points is probably and then again here gain zero and these two region are our uh, zero noise like if we give any noise here any noise means in that voltage range it will be eliminated but in this region there is a high gain see how much gain is reaching here so in this region if you give give any input here uh, probably you will get some answer but it is undeterministic we don't know it will land in this area or that area so that's why after designing it will tell the user hey please give a input between this and that but we need to define it right so we'll define today so see here somewhere it is crossing one for sure somewhere it is crossing one so we need to plot these two graph together and we need to find out what's the reason why it is crossing one here actually so let me define a variable here so let we can store it so to define a variable in ng spice we'll write let and um, probably gain so let gain equal to uh, let me make it absolute no negative number so we'll get a positive number only absolute so abs will give the mod value of my derivative of v out and then we need to plot it for one like the region when it is more than one so that we can directly define it so just follow me what i'll do here i'll write um, if it is greater than or equal to one and save this thing to gain and let me press enter and now let me plot the gain uh, okay uh, negative turn to positive but the things what i'm expecting it is not there um, like what i i want and that is uh, make it fully zero and then when it is one that time only you you plot this graph here so that we can get the exact value where it is becoming one so i'm, I'm missing something probably let me see okay uh okay okay here you need to give a space actually when it is greater than or equal to one so don't forget to give this space in the both side otherwise and this by doing some weird thing so plus and then plot gain and yeah perfect perfect this this is what i wanted so actually this is the value like we want three uh what i said we need three partitions right partition one partition two and partition three partition one and three are perfect here we have noise zero or gain zero or actually not zero we have something but which is less than one up to one we can tolerate up to one we can tolerate but at the point when the gain is going more than one this par partition two we will never insert our input here because if we insert our input here if there is no noise then perfectly we'll get some answer uh, high or low but if there is a noise then 
output would be undeterministic it could land in this area or that area so that's why we will avoid this region uh, so from this graph only we can just see that what is our noise margin of this inverter and that is uh, in the lower side your your noise margin is this actually from zero to i am not sure exactly number uh, i will actually uh, superimpose this to this to know the exact number here uh, probably if i increase it i think we'll get the number yeah we are getting it but still it is not cle clean and clear uh, we will use some in this spice command to get this value perfectly uh, but yeah it is seven point something so this is your lower side noise margin and from here up to 1.8 because maximum voltage we are using is 1.8 that is your uh, other side noise margin okay and the best case scenario is that both the like your lower side noise margin and your upper side noise margin should be similar but in our case we are using a wyl of pmos by wyl of nmos not uh, 3.5 which is uh, actually required but we are using it too so that's why probably we won't get that symmetry here but we will identify it so let me close it so what i'll do i will just plot gain and my v out together but here we have some issue and that is it is not crossing that uh, v out here this red curve ha have no significance because it is just giving us the range from where it is going the gain is going above one and uh, actually we have defined the variable in such a way so that it got truncated at one so let me do one thing let me just uh, define this line again but with a multiplication factor of 1.8 why because uh, if I give 1.8 then it will grow up to 1.8 so let me do that thing here and then full thing into 1.8 uh -oh, I did something wrong it will should come from here so and then let me plot this thing again so now it is what we have desired and we will find out the location where when the gain is gain is getting to one in this two location and if you remember these two location location in the input side are your vil and vih vil signify the highest possible input you can give which will be considered as low to the inverter okay it is little confusing because vil have a l in its terminology which we low but in the definition it is actually the highest possible because you can see from here right this is your input axis and this part is your lower input low logic input but up to this much this is the maximum value of input which will if you give it then which will be considered as a high output in in the output this this blue curve is your output so that's why vil is your highest possible input which will be considered as low input and vih is the highest possible sorry lowest possible input which will be considered as high input to your inverter so it is bit of like terminology a bit of confusing but you just need to see it from picture so it will be clear for example this is your vih and this this side from from one most probably to that side this side it is your high input area high input logic area but this is a threshold this is the minimum value of input you need to give to be considered as a high input so that's why vih have that terminology now if you give a vil in your input then you will get a voh the highest output you will you will get okay and VOH you can see from here if I zoom in it here VOH this blue curve this point which is 1.78 it is for sure not 1.8 but in rough scenario just uh, we say that hey VOH is 1.8 only but if you go by the theory or go by the practical scenario then your VOH is never equal to 1.8 exactly it is little less and you can see from the graph your VOH is 1.75 and note down this everything because you can explain the, this thing everything nicely in your uh, git repository which you'll be preparing after this project so note down this everything and the same is true if you give a vih in the input then at the output you will get v o l and v o l also in rough scenario we say it is zero but it is actually not zero it is see we have some voltage here but yeah we we sometimes ignore these things and 
to find out this value let us do some in this spice uh, power let use some any spice power and this point uh, called VIL so let us measure a value DC value which name is VIL which is coming from a DC simulation and uh, uh, th this like that value will get is value from the VI in and what's the condition condition is that when your gain equal to 1 and that green gain curve cross the 1 for the first time if you give 2 then the second time if you give the last then the last time so if I just enter and then you can see you just note this thing down this is your VIL now if you do the same thing just make it last when it cross the 1 for the last time then this is your v i h and these are in 0.7 uh, it is minus 1 so 0 0.74 and 0 0.98 and from here also you can see roughly it is the that thing okay now one thing is that from where i am knowing these things and as i said already in my last video these everything's are there in your and spice manual and if you are interested then you can see here just control f and type cross um, not like that okay you, you can just go to measurement actually measure mes measurement will give you a lot of thing or you can type dot measurement you will get the many things for example this is your measurement and here see they have defined cross these are like the argument you can use with uh, measurement so likewise you can just explore like what they mean exactly but yes you can use them as this so now if you want to find out your noise margin in lower side uh, in theory they have a formula but from here you can directly say hey it is from zero to this much so in the lower side this is my noise margin and at the upper side it is this so if you do the calculation uh, it is your 1.8 the maximum range uh, where we can go it is it is 1.8 minus 0 0.98 0 0.98 so it's roughly 0 0.82 so in in the lower side you are getting 0.74 and at the um, higher side the noise margin you are getting 0 0.84 and ideally it should be same symmetrical but because we are not using the 3.5 w by l of nmos by uh, pmos by nmos that's why you are not getting it but it's okay because it is saving a lot of our area and if you are designing something specific to noise margin to have a great uh, like noise and uh, uh, noise uh, like you need to have a great noise performance then probably you can use that like 3.5 and uh, this could be your task you can just find out like just you can make here your pmos uh, exactly 3.5 time or 4 time of the width of your nmos and do try out this simulation and find out if you are getting a symmetric result here like higher side of lower side of noise margin to the higher side of noise margin so do this task and also don't forget to like this video this is also your task share it and if you are, haven't subscribed it please subscribe it because in our next video probably tomorrow i think we will see the propagation delay of our inverter till then tata bye bye